Hi everyone, my name is Jason Matthew from We Can EduTech and today we're going to be looking at how we can use zeros, hashtags as well as question marks as placeholders in our number formatting. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so we are in the Excel sheet. I'm using Microsoft 365 for the Mac is version 16.64. So if anything is looking a little different, it could be that you're using a different version than mine or you are using Excel for Windows. Now, basically the concepts will be the same. It should be, you know, more or less identical. But if you're seeing something that you're having a little trouble with, please put it in the comment section and I will deal with it there. So today we're going to be looking at three placeholders that we can use in our number formatting. So the zeros, they display insignificant zeros and they're great for dollar and cents notation. The hashtag or the pong sign, whichever way you want to call it, they do not display the extra zeros. And then we can use question marks in our number formatting to align numbers by the decimal point and it's um it's great for easy ranking so that's going to make a lot more sense when we start using it so let's go straight into that so if you watch i have identical values in each of the columns so call the values the numerical values in column a is the same as in column b same as in column c d and e so we have not applied any special type of formatting just yet so at the top here, this is start. So these are, this is the original set of values. And these are the different types of formatting that we're going to be applying. So the, in column B, the first set of formatting we're going to be using is 0.00. .00. So I am going to highlight all the values that I want to format. And then I'm going to click on my keyboard, the shortcut keys, Command 1, because I'm using a Mac. And that will pull up the format box now if you are using a windows computer it's going to be control one okay so i'm going to select custom and i'm using uh i'm going to remove uh, general and i'm going to put 0, 0 0.00 and you should see the values change a bit now when i say change i mean the the way in which they look but the numerical values remain the same as what it was there originally. Now you can see because I've used the 0.00, .00 format, now insignificant zeros are being applied. So for instance, the default in Excel is that the Excel will not put these insignificant zeros. So like 0.00, .00 will be seen as 0, 0 0.10 will be seen as 0 0.1. So if you need the insignificant zeros to show up, that's one way in which you could format it. Now, if I wanted it like to three decimal places, then the format would be 0 .000, 0.000. But in this case, I just wanted two decimal places. Now let's see what happens if I use the hashtags. So again, I'm going to highlight the values that I want to format. I'm going to click on command one and I'm going to bring up the custom. And in this case, I'm going to click, all uh, right, hashtag dot, hashtag, hashtag. And then I click OK. Now you can see that it has removed the insignificant zeros. So zero is now just a dot. 0 0.1 is now 0 0.1. So it has removed all these zeros that are insignificant. Like for instance, in 10, that zero is significant. So it, so it remains there. Similarly for 100, those two zeros are significant. So they remain there. All right, so let's do the same thing for this column now. Now we're going to do hashtag dot zero zero. Let's see what happens there. Command one, custom. And now I'm going to click on hashtag dot zero zero okay now once again because of the hashtag there it means that that first zero will not be significant so but we have forced the 
the two decimal places so those two zeros are coming up for that first answer there all right and so on and then finally let's highlight these and see how it's going to be different command one custom let me bring it closer to it and this clear we're going to use question marks I forgot it I forgot the period all right question marks now look at something that's happening that's quite interesting the question marks are making sure that all the decimal points are lining up and where the insignificant zeros are we are leaving the space for it because we have the question marks there now look at let's look at these guys here if you watch the the period is not lining up in any of these other columns but because we use question marks we can line it up and you can easily see that for row 19 has the largest number now this one is a simple example but if you have a more complex data set you can see where this could visually could be an easy way in which you could rank the values and see where is the highest value so according to how you want your values to look on that spreadsheet you either use zeros hashtags or question marks or a combination of them but note that the numerical value does not change so for instance if i look at this first row it's zero if you're watching in the menu bar the formula bar here is zero if i click in this one it's also zero if i click on the hashtag dot hashtag hashtag custom formatting is still zero and as you continue so you see the numerical value is not changing but the way in which it is visually displayed is changing and you have different uses for that so i hope this video was useful um, please like and subscribe and support the channel thank you take care bye bye